Hello friends, welcome back. Why every tester should have testing daily? Like uh, we all have this question and we all wanted to know why this testing daily app is getting so popular and why everybody, every tester is having now. And what is the reason, what is the idea behind it to develop this app and why this is re really required for every tester and how it can help. So let's try to understand this. So the main purpose behind testing daily app is the idea behind it is to keep every tester updated with the latest testing news. Now you will say that we all get to know lots of information from so many platforms and we already know everything what's happening around. But let me ask you guys some of some questions. How many times you open medium? Do you know that lots of feed every day comes in medium? Lots of blogs every day, every week are being written on medium. Really expert people really love to write on medium. Then Reddit. I'm not sure how many of you are aware about it or how many of you even open Reddit ever. Even I know it, but hardly I used to get a time to open it. LinkedIn, Twitter, we all are very frequent to open Instagram. But these platforms like Reddit, a huge developers and testers community exists there and discussions happen around. Similarly, on Medium, every day so many blogs comes, but we don't get a chance to open them. Then YouTube, lots of tutorial, great tutorial from so many YouTubers, trainers are coming these days on YouTube. But whenever you open YouTube, we all learn these days from YouTube, but a lot of distraction used to happen. But yeah, that's absolutely fine. We, we, we can't avoid that. We will keep using that. So that is absolutely fine. But without doing you anything, without you doing anything, how you can, how we can help that how we can help our testers so that they keep getting the latest information without doing single click extra single click so that's where this testing daily idea came and it is helping people now let me show you some of the example like today if you open let's say <coughs> edge browser if you open edge browser like let me just close and open it so as soon as you open edge browser, you will see that that used to have some kind of feed always like you close and open new tab. You will see that this kind of feed used to come. It might be sometimes relevant. Most of the time it might not be, but you will always see some of the information. But as a tester, this is not useful for me. I will just open new tab and open, open my website, whichever I want to open. Like op I will open new website and then I will open my website, whatever I want to do. But so, but every time when you are opening the new tab here, you see that you will observe that you are seeing some information here. Something will come at least something. Uh, I mean, your eyes will catch something out of this feed, isn't it? Even though you read it or not, but that something you will catch. Your eyes will catch whenever you open new tab before you open your website. Similar idea is here what we are trying to implement as soon as you open new tab We want to try to give you some feedback Sorry, give you some feed which can help you Which can catch your eyes and at least something will absorb in your mind your mind will absorb something from that information <coughs> Like this blog is written on medium today building a QA team for from scratch pros and cons it could be helpful for you it might not be but if you get this uh, title in front of you at least some curiosity will come in your mind and you might open and read it and whenever you are going to start your QA team in future you will get some idea about from this like you just click on this open and you can just if you want you can read this article that who has written in detail just on medium.com and that's where you can get a lot of ideas from here similarly like uh, you see like lots of feed is coming this is coming from medium this is coming from uh, 
Reddit, this is from YouTube and as you scroll down here, you will get a lot of information from different different channels. Next time, whenever you open new tab, you every time you will get some new feed. Like you see that here, this is coming from your weekly testing news. And here if you click on read article, you see that all the information and like weekly newsletter you got for testing from uh, Ministry of Testing. So that's where you can read the complete information. Next time you open new tab, you open some website, you get to know that, okay, there is something like types of testing, information technology degree and software testing QA. This is a tutorial here, basic implementation of CI CD. If you click here on most popular, like let's say, if you want to go on like what is most popular these days, what is popular blogs or tutorials are happening, people are discussing around because now community is upvoting the blogs. You can upvote the blogs here like, okay, this is good or not. You feel that this is good. It can help more people. You can just upvote. You can comment like here. You can discussions are happening. So most you will get to know around the world of testing what is happening and whenever you feel like let me just scroll something what all things are happening around testing and you will get all the feed at one place you might not be able to get this kind of feed anywhere but now just in new tab you open new tab and you just keep scrolling you will keep enjoying it like lots of feed there is no distraction nothing and everything is here around the world from testing and what you're doing nothing you just open new tab anyways you open new tab whenever you want to open a website just open and if you don't want like you just open website and let's go isn't it so simple and so easy without you doing anything anyways you open the website today as well right new tab you open so you keep opening that and then when you see like your eye will catch something from this feed and it will help in your career and in your testing day to day testing if you ever want to pause this like you don't want to see this you can always pause new tab like here you click and then you can click on here like let's say for five minutes or one hour for whatever num uh, amount of time you want to pause this you can pause this or else like you want to completely disable it so here you let me pin it to toolbar right click manage extension and you can uh, turn off here Turn off this extension and then it will not show like when you open next time but again you want you can just turn it on and then now if you will open new tab it will show you the feed so this is how it is going to help you guys a lot and yes this is the very uh beginning of this tool like it has just been launched two three days it's been and so many people has already adopted and it's being used by so many people now so this is going to be uh very very helpful and uh, it is going to be evolved a lot the feed initially because this is a very early feed so we are working to optimize the feed to give uh, show you guys the best feed here and uh, we are going to uh, we are working really hard to add more platforms here so soon it will be having the data from lots of other platforms i mean everything will be related to testing nothing else <laughs> if you ever found that this blog or this tutorial should not be here this is not relevant something else it is showing here you can always uh, report it here like on the feedback you click here it will open the repo and there you can report the issue if you find any issue here that this is not good or anything so you can always find that and then there are like lots of other features you can search bad discussion best discussion most upvoted popular and you will be also getting a lot of other feature like you would be able to customize the feed and everything so that we are adding the features and you can always watch the detailed tutorial here to learn all the features of test testing daily and here you can also enjoy the grid view so yeah that is there so that's uh, pretty much about testing daily if you have any suggestion any feedback feel free to let me know in the comment section or you can raise a ticket here for any kind of improvement for any kind of issue in the testing daily because this is very early stage but just trust me this is very very helpful there's no harm to add it in your browser this is absolutely safe and secure you can always check it out here privacy practices you can see that not being sold net not being used or anything this is the publisher this goes it doesn't collect any of your user data and uh, this runs offline 
even if you turn off your internet then also it runs you can see that it has been got the featured batch from the chrome store so this is absolutely safe and secure so do not worry about that and it's very very helpful and it doesn't require except that you just have to add it in your browser like let me show you so how you can get this if you doesn't have now go to selectorsub.com and here you will find this testing daily click on install you can read little bit information here and then for whichever browser you want you click on install and here in the chrome store let me just first remove it and then you will get this add to chrome click on add add extension and it will be added in your browser and from next time onward when you open the new tab you will see all the information here all the feed so yeah that's test testing daily and this is why it is required and it is going to help you guys a lot so please give it a try if you haven't tried it yet this is very very helpful tool it will keep you updated with all the testing uh, news or updates happening around the QA community hope you are loving it please leave your feedback in the comment section you can also add your review and rating here please give a good rating here for testing daily and share it share it in your network with that thank you thank you so much